Islamabad's position on block politics has been clear. It does not wish to be part of any camp politics and strongly opposes any such block arrangement. Now that position has profound merits. When we look at key events across the globe right now and understand how block politics poses a challenge to enduring peace. Look to the Ukraine-Russia war. For quite some time, NATO's insistence that it is now West versus Russia has not necessarily resolved or brought parties closer to peace. In fact, it has raised fears among some countries in Russia's neighborhoods, including China, that this may be a recipe for eastward expansion. We see a spike in defense spending from NATO and also NATO's pivot towards diplomacy with certain non-Western countries, again including China, to facilitate talks. So the question is, when the end goal is to move towards diplomacy, why not prioritize that from the start? Islamabad's position that there needs to be a negotiated settlement is informed by decades of conflict within its neighborhood, understanding that military escalation can never really be an enduring recipe for peace. The second constraint on block politics is that it hampers coexistence. So we look at the US-China rivalry and also look as far as the Pacific Islands to see how certain countries feel they're being pressed to choose sides. Islamabad has a balancing act to come through on with its principal security ally, China on one end, and also the US with which it wants to reorient its relationship. Lastly, the other constraint with block politics is that it also hampers coexistence on certain levels, which makes it difficult to basically establish a truly representative and inclusive rules-based order. Who writes these rules? Which countries get autonomy? And how is a select grouping of like-minded democracies guaranteeing peace for across regions? That is a question which key groupings such as the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, arrangements such as AUKUS, struggle to answer. And hence, the costs of block politics strongly outweigh the opportunities presented by it.